show you how to put on the ACC Retro Matrix Grill. Um, this is a peel and stick application, a permanent application. Um, a couple of things you're going to need to do uh, before you actually apply the grill. On an installation like this, uh, preparation is critical. Uh, you're really going to need to prepare the black plastic factory grill to receive these parts permanently. In order to do that, you're going to scrub these, this entire perimeter, including the center uh, black area of the grill. You're going to scrub that down with alcohol to remove any waxes or, or contaminants. Uh, uh, make sure that there's no, no uh, things like uh, uh, paint protectant or anything like that. Once you scrub that clean, you're going to take your kit's going to come with a little piece of uh, uh, this is like a, a scrubby pad, a uh, scotch pad, and what you're going to do is you're just going to scuff this area all the way around the grill, including these center areas. Once you scuff that down, you'll wipe it again with alcohol, remove all the dust and stuff. And what you've done by doing that is increasing the surface area so you can get a maximum bond. Now. Before you apply anything, your kit's going to come to you with uh, a little tube of adhesive accelerator. This is not a, uh, a cleaner, but it is an adhesive accelerator that's going to help this, this grill bond permanently to the black plastic. And it is essential to be used that way. You don't want to use this to clean up the area and then peel and stick. So we've already prepped this pretty good. We've applied the adhesive promoter. Um, so the next thing that you're going to need to do is, is to preform the grill itself. Um, the grill comes to you, it's going to come to you pre-shaped. However, it's really important for you to take the grill and set it into position to make sure that it matches the shape of the car perfectly. You don't want to have the adhesive hold the grill in place, okay? So you're going to want to take uh, the grill, it's going to already come to you with the center bend, which will line up directly with your seam and the nose. And then you can take a look at the where it sticks and form this. See, you got a little bend here, so you'll take the grill and you'll just kind of tweak the shape so that when you set it in place, it matches perfectly like that. Um, it only takes a few minutes to do, but it is absolutely necessary. If you allow the adhesive to hold the grill to the shape of the car, over time, the grill will definitely pop out. So you want to make sure that you take a, a little bit of time required to just shape each section so that it matches. Um, See, we've done this a little bit here. You can see once it's stuck in, that it contours perfectly. So you're going to take these areas, you know, if they're not quite right, and you're just going to tweak them by hand. You'll you'll form the each area so that this will contour to the body perfectly, just like that. Okay. Once you're pretty confident that you've got the right shape, uh, you can just go ahead and peel and stick this. Now. The way we like to do it is to start it like so. I like to work in the center. These are going to be calculated dead center for you. So when you get it, you want to work the center out. So what we're going to do is kind of give ourselves a pull tab there and then just set this right back in the middle. Okay. Now, holding the grill into position like so, you're going to pull this and just run and set the bond.
is a very reliable method of installing a grill like this one. You don't really need much hardware. We are going to put additional trim on this to kind of lock it to the car just for all you guys that got to go 200 miles an hour. Uh, we've uh, come up with a method to really secure it to the car. Once you've pressed this to the vehicle, it's really important that you go over it and really push this down. This is what's going to really create the bond itself. You want to make sure that you really press this into the adhesive promoter and that you're getting maximum contact of that tape. And once you've done that bottom section, the top section goes in the same way. So you'll just kind of start this. You'll apply it dead center. job of locking the grills in the car so you won't have to worry about anything flying off at 200 miles an hour. 
This is a twin turbo car and it is capable of going 200 miles an hour. Thank you. 